to episode four of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. It's about 5.30 in the morning right now, Saturday morning. Uh, got a few hours of editing to do to take care of uploading episode three for you guys. And then we have customer emails, uh, one customer uh, enclosure order, and then we have to take care of processing some orders, getting back to some people, all that good stuff. So let me get through with all this boring stuff, and then we'll be back to that other seat enclosure. Thank you guys again for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel and drop me a comment below. So after two failed attempts to get the video up, first copyright issue, then it wasn't uploading. I finally got it uploaded. It's on the page. It's on YouTube. Uh, I got to share it on Instagram. I got to upload it on Facebook. I'll do that later on. I got to do this design real quick. First, it is for two JL Audio 12W3s. It's a sub port forward design. It's a basic $10 pick your work for design. Knock this out real quick. Um, then back on the undersea enclosure, spray the top, put that to the side to dry, then I'll pull the Impala in and start working on that. Alright, I just finished up with the design for the day for the JL Audio 12W3, two of them, ported enclosure. Um, Got to start working on this undersea enclosure, get this thing sanded on the, the back side of the baffle, get the Bondo smoothed out, get the primer sprayed. Alright, so we're about to get this baffle primed up. The box is drying. Probably be dry tomorrow, ready to sand. Get this top primed up. Then we can move on to working on something for the Impala. I think I'm gonna work on the doors. I've been doing those for the last couple of days. Last time, last couple of times I've been working on the Impala, so I'll pull the doors out, start working on those instead of pulling it in here. That way I can still keep some room for all this stuff to dry. All right, got it primed up. Real thick coat on there. I'll leave this for tomorrow. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Gotta clean up this paint gun. Um, clean that up and on to the Impala doors. All right, so starting on these doors, we got Sundown Audio Neos going in there. The Selenium tweeters. It is, uh, per door we're doing two eights. Two sixes, two tweeters in the fronts. We're doing the fronts first. I gotta start uh, figuring out exactly where my speakers are gonna go on the baffle. Get those holes cut out with the circle jig. Uh, then I will start shaping the grill insert. Alright, so I'm about to cut the uh, speaker holes out and I figured this would be a good time to give you guys a little tip. I did say I wasn't gonna do them, but as I'm even filming these videos now, I realize there's probably no way I'm going to be able to uh, film multiple video series. So I'm going to break everything down into these daily vlog videos. So here's a little trick for you guys. Um, when you're trying to find the center of your speaker on anything, you obviously have to have a circle jig. So, you know, I did um, trace these circles out just to give myself an idea when I pulled everything away, but you're gonna put your speaker down where you want it. So once you figure out where you're gonna have your speaker placed, you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna go by these speaker holes, or the mounting holes rather. You're gonna mark the pencil line on four points and they have to be across from each other. So this hole here, this hole here, this hole here, and this hole here. So mark those out with the pencil. You got your 
four points. You're gonna take your straight edge, put a straight line. It got kind of sloppy on that, but it'll work. Go to the other points. Make sure you line it up. Try to hold this down with one hand. Trace that line. That is your center point of your speaker. Take your circle jig, you can set your uh, centering pin right there, cut your hole out, go throughout the whole thing. As you see, I have the lines marked out for all of them. Even, even the odd shaped like the tweeters will work because the holes are perfectly um, spaced from each other. So you could use the center point or the hole points, mark them out, take the straight edge, and then find the circle cut out for the tweeters. Making some great progress on these doors. Got uh, finished cutting out the inside hole. I got the flush mounts on for the speakers. I still have to, I'm gonna have to hand route out the flush mount for the tweeters, but I'm gonna get at least the holes cut out for the speakers tonight. And uh, well, mainly just so I can kind of get a look at what this all looks like, because I'm excited to see what it's gonna turn out like. All right, got the baffles all cut out, got the circles cut out, flush mounts cut out, minus the tweeters. I'm gonna take care of doing that tomorrow. I'm gonna have to do some hand routing for that, so I wanna take my time. Um, everything is just kind of put together for now. These things are definitely turning out really awesome. Definitely happy with how these are turning out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these door panels. They definitely turned out awesome. Tons more work to go on them, but I'm liking them so far. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching another episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. It's episode four. Uh, if you guys like this series so far, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. For all your car audio needs, make sure you check out the website, www.customlows.com. I got everything you guys are going to need on my website. Check it out. Stay tuned for more videos. This daily blog, so I'll be posting every day. Um, this is now taking over. I'm pretty sure this is going to basically dissolve my other series, basically because it's a daily series, and I'm going to be showing so much in depth of all the other projects. There's no point in separating these. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys like these videos. And I'll be back with more later.